Yo, what's up, folks? Hello. So, <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm kind of lost about <laughs> <laughs> So, we finally, finally got this guy over here. Apple took way too long. I don't know if you guys can even see it. But it is the Apple Watch. I know, right? Finally. finally. Anyway, we're going to do an unboxing. Now, I could have made a full video for this, but it's been done, probably run to the ground by this point. So I figured I'd do it on the vlog. You guys can still get my first impressions. Hey, our first impressions. And I actually still got my FS7 all hooked up here. So you guys can at least get some decent quality out of this unboxing. Only 1080p, but 60 frames though. Let me know if you like that. Either way. Let's get right into it. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Also, y'all don't mind my hair. I'm back to my, my little like bun to make it feel a little, to make my hair feel. Blah, blah, blah. Shut. <laughs> also, guys, do not mind my bun. I'm back to the healthy hairstyles because I have been putting just way too much heat in my hair, uh, and we are working out today. So, yes. So yes, there you go. That's it. <laughs> All right. So here it is. This is the Apple Watch. Now I got the leather loop. This is the black leather loop, and this one retailed for about seven hundred bucks. The uh, stainless steel versions are freaking expensive. I tried to get a sport one too, but this is what got to me first, so this is what I've got. So uh, let's see, you've got your little tab here, so you can just kind of pop this guy open. No unboxing knife, huh? It's looking like it, kind of disappointing. Yeah. That blows. No unboxing knife, let's get, get rid of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> and this, boom. So this is the case it comes in, hard shell case. Okay, this is stickers? Apple Watch. Blah, blah, blah. So, uh, you know what? I'm not even going to put that away. I'm going to leave that right there. We've got the wall adapter as well as the little charging dock. So, this is one of those uh, magnetic wireless charging things. So, you can just kind of stick it onto the Apple Watch. It's like magnetic. It's going to get right on there. Here you have it. This looks like old school Apple packaging, by the way. Seriously. Right? So, let's... Wait, you have to say drum roll, please. All right, drum roll, please. Ta-da! So this is it. This is the Apple Watch. Very nice. Took forever, but it's here. But just taking a quick look around it, you've got, this is the regular button. This is your digital crown. This is like, I think, a home button. I think the digital crown also has a button in it as well. I'm not too sure. Yeah, you can definitely press that. But this is where you like how to navigate through your menus and apps. And this is like the home button. Uh, in the back, You've got the heart rate monitor and all that good stuff. So you've got your sensors back here. And uh, yeah, this is the leather loop. So once you get it in through here, it's got magnets on the ends. So it kind of just clips together like that. So this is what keeps it secure. And it actually feels pretty solid. I, I can't imagine this falling right off the wrist or anything. So this is actually really good on their end. To start pairing your Apple Watch, all you have to do is hit start pairing. And then you have this little symbol that's on your Apple Watch. Oh, sliding off. And then all you gotta do is take this. This is your camera. You put it over the Apple Watch. And boom, it's paired. So hats off to Apple for making that super seamless. That was not difficult whatsoever. So the Apple Watch is syncing apps right now. Uh, it's kind of a pretty boring moment. Ari left, we lost her. So, just waiting for this thing to finish so we can actually take a look at what the uh, interface looks like and how we use it. So I'm here for this thrilling moment of watching it sync. Still going. Anyway, we can give some impressions on what it, we think it looks like. How do you think it looks? I think it looks way better I than like I expected. I like it. Yeah, me too. Online doesn't look like that nice. When you first got that, I was like, why did you get that one? Yeah, after a while, I was kind of, I was kind of regretting when I purchased it. I was like, wait a minute. Why did I pull the trigger on that? Yeah. But it looks really good. I was like, really why good. did you go with something safer? But Like I a like regular it. leather, but this is actually pretty good. Me too. I uh, like how easy it is to adjust it. Apple actually has a bit of a focus for the health side of things with this guy. So I'm definitely interested in that. Uh, Android Wear didn't really have any good options as far as, you know, workout features. And I've had products like these in the past. These Adidas uh, workout things and God, yeah. It was not a good, good thing at all. It was not a good experience. So when you hit this button over here, it brings up your contact menu. Oh, look at that. Who's that sexy mama? That's me. 
And there goes my mom, Anna, my pops, my daughter's, I mean, my daughter, you hear me? <laughs> my sister's daughter, my niece. All right, so let's get out of here. Let's see, is this the home button? No, this takes you back to the watch face. Uh, man. You know what, guys? I'm gonna figure it all out. I'm gonna make a video about it. But you saw what came in the box. You get all this good stuff. But now I think it's time we work out. Yes. Uh, so we'll be working out today for the first time in forever. Oh, God. So last vlog we showed you we were trying to cook more. We have been cooking a yep, lot more. We're yep. doing a lot better. High five. Mm. <laughs> um, and now we have to actually get that workout aspect in. He's just to work out right now. I'm not. I just have on like a t-shirt, leggings, and some sneakers i am wearing all colors of the rainbow and, right now and we've got some awesome socks oh, too yeah. but we're gonna get into that in a second <laughs> but yeah we're gonna we're gonna be working out um i definitely want to see how the activity app is for this because apple actually has a bit of a focus for the health side of things so this company bomba socks reached out to us uh we at first were like wait what but then mm. we <laughs> but then we remember we have these goals of getting uh fit and getting ready hashtag sweating for the wedding um and we figured <laughs> why <hashtag>. not <laughs> Um, we also, we don't take sponsorships lightly, so we looked on their website and we also saw that they uh, donate a pair of socks with every, with every pair that you uh, purchase. purchase. Yeah, that's really awesome. Um, there are statistics out there that say that the most requested item in at homeless shelters are socks. So when you buy one, you're donating one. Yeah. So that's, that's really awesome. It's, it's awesome. Why not? Like, Social just, good. Yeah. We th thought we might as well just bring it to the channel. And they are pretty awesome. Mine are the ankle socks, so you can't really see them. But Judd has the... Okay. The half calf sock right here. Yeah. And this thing, these are legit. We've got a couple of them actually yeah, over here. Lots. Don't mind the cables, guys. My cable management game is not on point. But anyway. It's not on fleek. <laughs> it's not on fleek. But yeah, we've got these socks and these are pretty awesome. And what was most surprising, guys, is how freaking comfortable they are. Oh. They are so, so comfortable. At first, we figured, okay, we're on the carpet. It's gonna feel cushiony. Yeah. But then we stepped into our kitchen, which has t regular tiles, and they were still feeling really cushiony and really good. Yeah, so. they're so comfortable. They're really, really fun. So as you can see right here, it says one pair purchased equals one pair donated. I just love how socially responsible they are. You don't find many companies that are like that. Uh, so it was just it made it even easier to bring this sponsorship to the channel. So now what I want to test out. Uh, beyond the health app of this uh, Apple Watch is to see if this thing can actually stay on my foot the way they claim. They say that these will stay in place no matter what. So they're, like I said, they're made for athletes, so they're supposed to stay in place. Final test. It's called Stay, fit te uh, stay Up Technology or something stay like that. Stay Up Technology for the mid-calf socks. Yeah. yeah, so that's for these, the ones with the mid-calves. So we're going to try that out. Um, what are the special features of the oh, ankle socks? It's this blister tab right here. Um, and this blister tab is supposed to like, keep you from like getting like oh from the bottom of the, the shoe rubbing, chafing. yeah, yeah. So chafing no chafing, thing. anything like that. Yeah. So we're gonna test it out, and we're gonna use the Xbox One. We're gonna work out yes, Zulu rush. World Party. We're going to be dancing to what? What, what kind of songs? Um, this, we've got all kinds of music, so we're gonna be dancing. You guys are gonna see that. I'm not good at dancing. And neither am I, so don't laugh at us. She's, no, I'm not good. Like, any, I'm really anyway, not. she's being humble. She's being so humble. Oh God. She's, she's fine at these workout games. She always that. scores like five stars and 90, 90th percentile. I know how to cheat the system. I can move my arms without actually moving my body. <laughs> That's some workout, babe. But either way, we're going to go and test it out. Uh, you're going to see me look terrible, but she's going to kill it. So... Ready? I'm not gonna kill it. Uh, I I just raised the stakes for you. I know. The <laughs> on. All right. I am not good at this. Okay. Um. <laughs> I just remember this stuff. Yeah, the little in the corner, you can see him putting my suit. Oh, they tell you? Yeah. Oh. Okay, you can see them. Nice. 
93%. This thing's broken. I wasn't keeping up at all. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we're not doing anything to make sure. Watch it at 90%. Yeah, we're not moving back, man. Sorry. I'm just putting on a twist to it. guys I'm done mm. are you done babe I think we worked out enough <laughs> <laughs> yo these socks are legit though let me see if they feel I wanna, good Let's I want to see if they're sweaty okay because I'm sweating right now same they actually feel pretty good hold on and you know what these are thick socks they're not that thick yeah. but they're pretty thick but then they didn't make me feel hot at yeah. all yeah apparently there's like this um material this kind of cotton they use that will let you cool in the summer and feel warm in the winter uh it's like the type of cotton so you're working out yeah. sorry i cannot talk <laughs> but yeah it has a really cool like kind of material that's made out of which is why we feel so comfortable right now but that's enough of that i'm gonna keep doing these kind of workouts i, I want to lift a bit so I'm going to keep using the Apple Watch and I'm going to see if, uh, you know, it tracks all this. Whew. Look at you. Looking all tired. <laughs> we got to do this more often, babe. Yeah, I know. We're terrible. And guys, if you feel like being awesome and you want to pick up a pair of Bomba socks, definitely check the link down below in the description. UAC fans get to save 20% off on their order. So show Bombas how awesome my viewers are, pick up a couple of pairs, and do some social good at the same time. So right now we're in Michael's. Uh, it's like an arts and crafts kind of shop. Ari's looking for bridesmaid stuff. So I, let me explain to you. Oh boy. So I got my Sorry. bridesmaids. So apparently it's a thing to like propose to your bridesmaids to be your bridesmaid. Propose. It's like you're kind of like proposing to them. Like, will you be my bridesmaid? Oh, kind yeah. of thing. Okay. Um, and I got them. I got them some stuff, some really awesome gifts. So, so now I just need a box to pack it all in. All the all the final things came this week, so now it's ready to be sent out. So now I'm here looking for like really cool boxes so I, that I can decorate to ask them. Snore. So and, rude. <laughs> and other, I don't have to ask the guys that that are gonna be in my uh, my groomsmen. Did call them on the phone like, "Yo, guys, what's up? <laughs> you want to be part of a wedding?" Boom. That's it. Wait, anyway, on to more important wait, stuff. Wait, but once once I finally like ask them, I'll show you guys exactly what we got. I'm gonna take some pictures before I send them out. Anyway, on to more important stuff. LG G4. And of course, I've got a Spigen case on it. I'm addicted to these Spigen cases. I think they're really good. Not a sponsor, but I really like them a lot. But yeah, guys, this is the G4. I've had it for a little while now. And so far, I'm extremely impressed. It's actually my first time using any of the G LG G phones. So very excited to actually get this in hand. Uh, honestly, this thing has gotten me because of the nice camera. The quickest way to my heart with a cell phone is having an awesome camera and this thing definitely has that. Probably one of the best alongside with the Galaxy S6. So I'm really stoked about this. And so far it's been like a really cool experience. Uh, I hope to have a day in the life video out soon about it. I'm trying to make that my thing. Give you guys a day in the life of how to use a certain phone. How it's going to be when you use it on a daily basis. But yeah, definitely stay tuned for that and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. So I'm looking for Ari, but then I think I spotted her. She has a bun, and it's like a shark fin sticking out of the water. So I think I, I tracked her down. Just gotta follow the bun. And you see, there she goes. And yeah, I just have to follow the bun. All right, guys. So back at home, but check this out. I was not joking about these speaking cases. Now, like I said, not a sponsor whatsoever. 
but I am just in love with these. These are like my case of my cases of choice whenever I pick up a new phone. If I pick up a new phone, I run and grab one of these kinds of speaking cases. Um, they're not expensive. I think I paid 20 bucks for this one. I think they're all like around 20 bucks. So you get some really solid protection. You get some really solid protection as well as a pretty nice design, I think. I like it. So if you guys are looking for a case, I suggest checking those out. I have links if you guys are interested. Um, what else do I like? Let me sort of share with you guys things that I just like that I happen to have around that I didn't make a video about. So this vid this one right here, I made an unboxing video of this mouse, but oh man, I'm going to be including this in my ultimate uh, YouTuber gear video as an accessory. Uh, this thing is so awesome, especially for video editing. Uh, it's a great mouse. It feels great in the hand, but it also has these buttons on the sides and I've mapped these to editing controls. So I use all these buttons to speed up my workflow in editing. So if I want to cut, if I want to zoom out, if I want to zoom in, uh, if I want to delete a clip, all of those buttons are right here. Very awesome stuff. Probably the best mouse I've ever used. And that's even with the new MX. The MX is, the new MX is nice, but it's like, this is like a really nice regular mouse. Uh, this is like a the special mouse. This mouse gives you a ton of features, while this is just a very well performing, pretty basic mouse with some additional features. So you got your back and forward scroll thing right here. Uh, you got some nice wheel features as well. That's all cool, but to me, it's not topping this. And this is a gaming mouse, so gaming mouse. That's where it's at. Uh, another Logitech product right here. This is this keyboard. It's an easy switch keyboard. You can sync up to like three devices to this one keyboard, which is also nice. Kind of like the uh, MX Master Mouse. This is on the second one, but it can do three at once. Uh, this guy, of course, the X, what is this? The XB950BT. Now, I know you guys probably want to kill me for not having a review of this yet, but it's amazing. I can tell you that. I'm going to be working on that immediately uh, I've already written the review I just kind of have to you know do the get get some recording done pretty much but this is amazing I definitely recommend that uh, I'll give you the full review so that you guys can know the ins and outs of it let you know how it functions and all that good stuff you know like I do with a review to see if it's a good fit for you but I love it base heads will love it um let's see what else have, have I picked up in here that I really like. Uh, the new MacBook is out there. Ari's using it right now, but that I like as well. Not the most powerful, but I'll get into it in my review. <laughs> but actually, speaking of reviews, guys, I'm working on a couple of videos. I've got a quite a bit of a list over there that I need to work on, but let me get your input on what you guys want to see next. First thing I'm going to be working on, there are two choices. Uh, Day in the Life with the LG G4. Or a day in the life with the Galaxy S6 versus the S6 Edge. Now, like I said before, those videos are going to cover how using that phone is on a daily basis. What you could come to expect. So, which one do you guys want to see first? Whatever you pick, whatever I see the most of in the comment section down below, I'll work on. So, G4, S6. Let me know. But yeah, I'll be working on those two. But you guys let me know which one you want to see released first. And, um... You know, honestly, I think that's about it for the vlog. Ari is actually working right now, so I'll make her say goodbye to you guys. Ari, say goodbye to the vlog. What do you say? Say goodbye to the vlog. Bye, vlog. <laughs> so she's working right now. But anywho, that's about it for this video, guys. Uh, definitely check out the link down below in the description to the Bombas socks. They've got some bomb-ass socks. <laughs> so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Hey, I don't have to do all that. I, I do this every time. Peace, guys.